Yeah, welcome back. Uh, before we went on the break, we just set your mind uh, to think about um, something that we just saw on the news that yesterday, it's Wednesday. It was Wednesday that yeah. it was launched, that there was, there's going to be some sort of sensors for the animals. And the reasons advanced, among others, is that it's going to uh, save us from the farmer header clashes. It's going to also save us from the cattle rustling, banditry, and everything that is related to it. And uh, we said when we come back, we'll just discuss that. And uh, I wonder... Sensors. The human sensors is coming <laughs> next next year. <laughs> the the cattle and goat uh, sensors is maybe coming earlier or not. Let me start with. I'm sorry. When you say is it sensors as in head count or sensors as in sensor to keep track? Well, more or less. They will, they will have to count you. They know you, <laughs> and then the traceability is one of the words they use. Uh, they know oh, the number goodness. of cattle that we have, for I instance. I think we should never speak on this because. <laughs> and, and then they are able to trace you. And they said, cattle rustling is a problem. So they want to be able to know where every animal is. Huh. Bio, help us out. It's, a, it's, it's interesting. I think, um, first of all, as we run up to 2023 elections, all the topics that come up on this program should be of interest to all the presidential and governorship mm. and local government uh, aspirants. Because they will be dealing with these issues when they, with whoever emerges, you know, for these problems are going to remain. And so this census of animals, yes, in many countries they undertake the census of animals. Because you need to know the, um, you know, the population, the animal population of your country. Now, but what surprises me a bit, uh, and I'm putting it modestly, is the assertion that by having the census of animals, they can actually stop farmer herder clashes. I find that rather interesting um, because the reasons why we are having farmer herder clashes are numerous, okay? But include the fact that some people may want to uh, encroach, their animals encroach on crops and eat up the crops of the farmers. Secondly, some people want to take land which belongs to the farmers. And none of this really is going to be mitigated by a census of the number of animals in a particular locale. So, so this is what I find strange. The second thing is that it's two, less than two months to the, to the end of 2022. Do we have the logistics and resources to actually effectively conduct this animal census, knowing that we are already in a, in a political you know, uh, mood now, the scenario, is that we are all motivated to be looking towards who is going to emerge as the next uh, president or governors and, and so on. So I just feel that the reasons adduced um, probably need more clarification, but clearly they are not going to stop Amahada clashes. You, are, you, you have the issue of the proliferation of small arms and light weapons, which is one of the critical factors for this farmer herder clashes and which creates all the insecurity we are having. So how will the census of animals, you know, if you don't deal with the proliferation of small arms and light weapons, and we think that by counting and knowing how many animals we have or being able to trace them, we will reduce the violence that comes from encroachment or from people trying to take other people's land that is, as it is being alleged and so on and so forth. If it's not the farmer header clashes that uh, it is going to help, what about the reason they gave that it's going to change the narrative? It will make that industry, it will make that sector uh, so vibrant, so much better just by knowing the number of animals ah. that we have. I, I don't know ah. how, okay. how that I mean, is the technology, sorry, sorry, before, a technology to improve farming. South Sudan, I hope you can hear me. Yes. Yes. Hear. yes. South Sudan has the highest animal population, the highest uh, cattle population in Africa, I do it with so. And I worked in South Sudan twice. Now, South Sudan has one of the worst cases of violence, which is linked to cattle rustling. And in South Sudan, they have a good understanding of the number of cows they have. They know it. So knowing the number of cows they have has not stopped massive cattle rustling 
and the, 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 the extremely high violence which it accompanies, because when the Russell cow in South Sudan, they raise whole villages. You have casualty figures leading into the into the thousands of in terms of displacement. You know, so I I, I mean I just thought I should quickly cite that because before Uche, Uche was going to make a point. Yeah, I was going to you know I just couldn't wrap my head around how uh, sensors for animals going to end the uh, headers farmers clash. As long as you still have animals moving around freely entering people's farms mm -hmm. it will continue uh, i mean for these people in these offices who claim to be wildly traveled still I, I cannot believe that they do not know what to do to solve this issue i mean there, you cannot go to anywhere in the more developed climes i uh, talk about the us and, and canada and, and and the uk uh, you cannot be walking on the street and see, and find animal except even even if you're walking your dog you have a nylon bag with you if they drop you pick it up is as good as that and then we still have cows disrupting traffic in the main streets, talk about a city like Lagos, you can still be moving around and be seeing cow crossing main road, dragging road with human <laughs> beings. And, and, and is, you think he's counting animals that will end farmers' headers clash. Really? How do you think? I, I think there are even laws that you shouldn't allow your animals, I'm not even talking about pets now, but animals, your, your chicken, your, uh, your turkey, your, your goats, and your cow to go outside and just walk freely <laughs> they should be confined i think there are laws uh, to that effect how come it's so difficult to implement the one of cows the one of true. of goats so what's really true, going true. on I'm good. and you know you know the interesting thing is it, we should know what the position of the presidential candidates and the governorship candidates are mm. uh, on this issue because this has been one of the drivers, one of the main drivers of insecurity in Nigeria in the last four years. So what are the candidates of the, uh, the All-Progressive Congress, of the People's Democratic Party, of the Labour Party, of the Action Congress, and all the other parties? What is the position of their various political parties, either at the presidential level, or at the governorship level, in places where we have a preponderance of, of, of these animals, you know, we should know what their policies would be. And this is where Nigerians need to be asking. Because one of the major, like I said, one of the major reasons for insecurity in the last four years has been this question of farmer herder clashes. So we need to hear from these parties yeah. as we run up to 2023 election. Definitely. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have to take a break now to bring you the news. And after that, we'll still go back to discussing about the road to 2023 with someone else providing a different perspective. Stay with us.